welcome back to my channel and to the second part of my trip to South Africa last fall. This time I'm taking you along as I explore Cape Town. We unfortunately only had two days here, so if you also have a short amount of time in Cape Town, hopefully this gives you some great ideas of what you can do. Make sure that you subscribe and check out my Johannesburg vlog, link is down below. Thank you. First things first, we checked into the Marriott Crystal Towers. This hotel is so chic and the staff here is incredibly friendly do a room tour in Johannesburg because my room was not that exciting but here yes this Marriott is really cool this is my room here in Cape Town and this is the view got the mall right over there and that pool right there, which I will be at tomorrow. After we put our bags down, my dad and I had our minds set on hiking to the top of Lion's Head Mountain. Another popular hike or gondola ride to a view is Table Mountain. However, Table Mountain was covered in a thick cloud cover that day and Lion's Head wasn't. So we figured we would do that one. Plus we wanted a little exercise. And from a Google search, I learned that Lion's Head was quote unquote, a nice walk. Alright, we're about to climb up the lion's head mountain. <laughs> it's freaking cold here. <laughs> that this was a walk? Well, I dressed accordingly for that. Jeans, street sneakers, and a purse, and no jacket. Thank God my dad came repaired with an extra one that I could wear, because I would have been freezing. It started out pretty easy and manageable, like this. So I've been going for about 30 minutes. It's pretty, pretty steep incline. Look at that view. Sun, it was warm and I didn't need the jacket but as we wound around the side of the mountain that was shaded I was glad to have it so make sure that you are prepared with layers and I can't say it enough proper shoes well this is where it gets a little crazy As we went along, the steep incline gradually turned into more and more of a rock climb until you reach the part where it gets interesting. Some areas require you to climb ladders up the sides of rocks or even use these metal hand and footholds to continue on the path. It definitely becomes a challenging hike halfway through, especially with the wind blowing as hard as it was. But hey, if my 60 something year old dad can do it, you can too. You made it. That wasn't scary at all. Oh my god, I'm shaking. That is not a walk. It's a hard hike. Ah, the wind! So this is the real hike. Don't do how I did and wear Adidas Stan Smith shoes because they don't have any tread. Wear actual sneakers that have good tread. And don't bring a purse because they'll get on your nerves. Bring a backpack. Basically do nothing that I did. <laughs> Even if your GoPro blows off the side of the mountain. Oh my god. He's nuts. Alright. Am I dumb enough to take a photo on this road? Am I? That one. Holy crap. The answer was yes. Y'all should know by now I'm down to do a lot for the gram. Please just be careful when you're getting your epic lion's head mountaintop shot. Don't do anything stupid. Find angles that you can make it look like you're on the edge of a cliff, but you're really not, and just stay safe. It's so windy up here. <laughs> While this hike was one of the scarier things I've done in my life, the view from the top is just incredible. 
It took us around an hour and a half to make the climb and I wish we would have come more prepared with some snacks for the top like a lot of our fellow hikers did. But to see this sunset from this vantage point was truly something epic. Yeah, I got your back here, yeah, you can count on me for that. So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day when you sick. The sun started setting fast and we knew we needed to get back down so we weren't stuck going down the harder part of this hike in the dark. That would have been no bueno. I think right here I'm saying something like, oh my god, we were at the top of that. I was pretty impressed with myself. Even in the twilight, we passed so, so many people that were going up. I would definitely not be brave enough to do that climb in the dark, but I guess it's something that people do. All right, I'm trying ostrich for the first time. It's our last day in South Africa and in Cape Town. Probably shouldn't be trying to film this while walking on these streets and heels. <laughs> So we're in Bocap, which is this very old historic neighborhood in Cape Town. All the houses are super colorful. So you guys know my Instagram feed. I had to come down here and get some shots because, you know, we live for the color here at Miss Moore style. Bocap was built in the 1760s to house the people known as the Cape Malays, who were slaves brought from Malaysia, Indonesia, and other parts of Africa to work the Cape. These homes were leased to them and were required to be painted white. When the people were finally free and able to buy these homes, they painted them all these really bright colors. Some of the residents here have been living here for generations. I picked the wrong day to wear these shoes. I truly wish we would have had more time to explore this historic and colorful area more and grab a bite to eat because I hear Cape Malay food is amazing, but we had to get our next stop of the day. If you ever make it to Bocop, please try the food for me. Another spot that was a must on my list while in Cape Town was checking out the penguins at Boulder's Beach. They're little guys. It's too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Hi little babies. Oh my goodness. What do you think about the penguins, Mom? I think they're amazing. In all the 57 years, I've never seen a penguin before. What? I haven't lived. <laughs> like, look at all those tourists. So. Happy feet, they're a lot more exciting than this, you know? <laughs> it's because the animation. The animation. Shake it off, bro. Shake it off. Ah! These are African penguins, so they are much smaller than penguins you might find in Antarctica. You can only find these penguins on the southern coastlines of Africa, and because these penguins are on the verge of extinction, they are under the protection of the Cape Nature Conservation. How cute are these little guys, anyway? I could have sat and watched them all day.
Next on our itinerary was lunch at the Cape of Good Hope, the southernmost tip of Africa. But the traffic to get there was insane, so we opted instead for lunch at Cape Point Vineyards. I'm honestly dying at how beautiful it is here. Like, guys, this place is insane. The food here was so good, and it was so cool to get to try some South African wines. I'm a fan. Thank you. Just had the most delicious lunch here at the Cape Point Winery. And honestly, the view here is so beautiful. Africa is so stunning. I honestly had no idea how beautiful it is here. It just, it's breathtaking. And if you guys ever get the chance to come to the cave, you gotta do it. <laughs> We drove more around the Cape area and just took in the absolutely breathtaking views. This is definitely one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. Finishing the day in the Cape's Bay. This is actually what we were looking at when we were up on the top of Lions. We're all the way up at the top of there. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh no. Of course, my crazy dad had to go for a swim. Y'all, that water was freezing. Are you frozen? No thanks. Well, that concludes my way too brief time in Cape Town. I really hope someday to go back and see more. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, tote scenes.